In this video, I want to talk about Carlson software, but most importantly, I want to talk about Carlson software as used by data people like ourselves. Now, a lot of people will say that, that they use Carlson, and Carlson comes with IntelliCAD, which is a free CAD add-on, which is a great program, but my issue with that is these files come into us in Civil 3D and I want to have the native format. I want to have Civil 3D and Carlson on top of it and that's what we use and that's what we recommend and that's what all of our data people use as, as a tool um, uh, to work with um, Civil 3D files. Now some of them may take the Civil 3D files and move them to another software but some of them work with it in Carlson. So we have both Carlson and Business Center and MicroStation and AgTech users. So it, it's, it's, it's kind of all over the place uh, depending on, on you know, who's doing what with what. But I had to learn all of them. And when I started working with Carlson, this was a way to go for me. So I just want to talk about some of the things that make the mix of the two products such an advantage. Now, this file I brought in, I cleaned it up. Um, using the cleanup utility. I'll, I'll just give you a quick look at, at what that means and what that does. Um, as you can see here, I've got all sorts of options um, to, to join line work, overlapping polylines, um, get rid of hatches, get rid of unused layers, um, get rid of blank text entities. Uh, I can do a conversion of, of civil 3D items, the AEC contours, and move those into Carlson format. That to me has been a bit problematic, but we've got ways to work around with. And as we go through this, you're going to see a lot of things that we're doing here. Uh, and, and I'll kind of show you the way that these things work. But in the meantime, I just want to show you what the advantage is of having this you know, set of packages to make things easier for you. Um, we use uh, Carlson Civil, and um, as you can see up here, these are the Carlson um, these are the Carlson modules that you can uh, you can use here survey and civil and then we have hydrology and then there's GIS. All these are, are great to use. Then you can go to AutoCAD commands as well. Now the great thing is when you start working with Carlson on top of something else, uh, whether it's Civil 3D or AutoCAD or IntelliCAD, you kind of don't know whose command is what. And what I'm going to do is get rid of some layers here and, and there's a command here. And again, this is a Carlson command, freeze layer by pick. So what I'm going to do is click on a layer and I see this big line and I click on it. Now you can see that at the bottom of the screen, follow my mouse, I, I apologize, P overall utilities. So, you know, I, I got rid of some sort of utility layer and it looks like some grids here um, that are piles of things on top of each other. It's about four layers, uh, points, so that lots, a lot of point information. Um, I want to come in and get rid of contours because I'm not concerned about those right now because I want to kind of see how this job looks. Looks like I've got some dimensioning here. Now here is... Um, Let's see, this is storm. We've got a curb inlet there. I don't care about storm information right now. So you can see I'm doing a lot of cleanup just to give me a chance to see what this thing is like. Let's get rid of the sanitary. Um, now, if I click on this, um, okay, that's a proposed right away. And um, a control Z, you know, an undo uh, brings it back. So it's like, oh, I want to keep the right away. So we'll, we'll get it there. Um, now, I have to get back into the command again. And I come here and pick this, and I don't want contours in there. So now I've started to clean things up, at least for the work that I'm doing on this job. Now, the commands that I use are an advantage, but here's the biggest thing to remember. When I bring in a Civil 3D file, I have the native format and the information as it was drawn and built, and this makes every bit of difference in the world. Yes, it costs you money to have Civil 3D, but you know what? It's more expensive to not have stuff that you need right that moment when there's people out in the field waiting. So when you're considering software and you want to go an AutoCAD route, 
because you've got AutoCAD experience. Look at Carlson. Look at Carlson with Civil 3D. Look at Carlson Civil, and I'll tell you what, you cannot beat the combination. This thing has some horsepower, and in coming videos, I'm going to show you some great things that this program does that you cannot find anywhere else. Stand by, and as always, thanks for listening.